guys it's Astrid again and today we will be reviewing episode one of Twin Star Exorcist and I'm with Nick today hey guys so the way this show started out it was with the main character I forgot his name um, he was like surrounded by like a bunch of dead people I believe like all of his friends and family died and he was like pretty much just like fire and death mm -hmm. just like imagine that Blood everywhere, scarred for life, you know, all that good stuff. And, um, like, it turns out to be that, like, at the time, like, that time where he saw all that blood and stuff, he was an exorcist. And because of the fact that all the people that, like, depended on him had died, he stopped becoming one because, like, he didn't feel like um, it was his thing to do now if he can't save anybody's. Life was the point of becoming one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, around the beginning, we see him introduced with some of the people of the cast, I'm assuming. Um, we see him, like, asking out a girl, but she, he gets, he gets rejected. Um, and we see another friend of his, I believe, and, like, they just start talking and stuff. I don't remember what they were talking about. Um, do you? Not at all. Um, and then we see the other the girl, the exorcist girl. I don't know where she's from. Like, Me neither. She was like going on a bus or something, and then all of a sudden, these um creatures start like forming on the windows and everybody is screaming like what is going on stuff like that and um oh, she, has, yeah. she like she's an exorcist so she was like um going to kill all of the monsters so what she did was she had this type of mask and she put it on her face and like i don't know what it exactly did does it like um, release her powers or something and then she has these talismans she has these talismans and then like she can do cool stuff like the animation is pretty good in this show. Yeah, like so pretty much she uh, takes out um, talismans and she can like create uh, gateways into like the demon world, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But like everything is like all uh, I don't know how to describe like, it. Red. Dark, yeah, the red, dark, like flashy. Yeah, and um, demon like. Yes. And then like, but like the art style in this show is really nice. Like I like the um, vibrant colors in some parts of the show. Yeah, it's definitely a really good anime. Oh, uh, what? Who did the anime? Animation. Oh wait! Oh my name. god! Oh my god! <sighs> I it's just familiar, I, I forgot that like the people who made this um show was the people who um fucked up Tokyo Go Ru A. Studio oh, Perry, no. I... <laughs> oh no. Because, like, you guys know how that went down. It was all filler. Nothing related to the manga at all. So. Oh no. I want to see how, like, this will go. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't go as bad as Tokyo Ghoul. It yeah. just gets better. I don't know. Studio Periot. Let's see how you do with this anime. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah, as we were saying, the girl was like killing all of them and stuff. Then, like, she fell out of the world or something. I don't know. Like, she, so, she much lost she, consciousness. Like, yeah, like, she made the talisman, went into the demon world, was fighting all these monsters, then got hit over, like, the demon bridge or whatever, got knocked unconscious, and then fell out of the sky on top of the main character yeah and then like she fell into the water and then he jumped into the water to save her and then yeah they kind of started talking well she didn't then, talk that much at first she was like yeah she yeah. says conversations are annoying 
and then like um they were walking around like she had a map and she was trying to get to some place i believe and the yeah. boy was assuming that he knew where it was but he actually didn't know so he was just pretending most of the time it reminds me there's a show that came out like i, I don't remember what um i think 2014 it was shinkaki no bahamut because like in that show we see that the girl was looking for like that city and then that guy was like oh i know where it is when he actually didn't know and it was like literally a whole adventure but um <laughs> yeah um so like he he he's pretending to know where he's going even though he doesn't then they stop by like a food like a candy shop because she's hungry and she ends up wasting all of his money on like those things yeah, yeah they're like chocolate rice balls i guess they look delicious though mm -hmm. and then um they're like walking by on a bridge and they see these little kids like this little girl and a boy like their brother and sister they're just like on the like they're just walking with their bicycles then all of a sudden we see this monster thing show up and they uh it makes the kids disappear so then she uses her talisman and um she goes to that like fleshy red type of world and stuff and the kids are apparently there and there's like a bunch of monsters so the girl just um puts on her mask and stuff and she just starts slaying all of them then once every once she believes that everything is fine this huge ass monster just comes out out of nowhere from the ground and like it's yeah, really and like, then, like yeah the main character comes in through the same portal yeah and then like she's like what the hell are you doing <laughs> whatever just take the kids and run <laughs> and then she like uses all these cool talismans and like pretty much makes her glow like um leggings of ultimate leaping or something i, I don't know what they said um yeah uh, but like it pretty much gave her ultimate power and she was trying to defeat the monster and she kind of took some like she hit it a couple times but then the main character is like you know what you're too weak i'm done with this walks up to the monster pulls out a talisman and then like his arm becomes like this like flaming glove thing mm -hmm. it was like really cool though yeah it reminds me of this other show <laughs> too for all those people who know High School DxD, just like disclaimer, I haven't, I have not watched the other seasons. I have only seen season one, so that's how I know that the main character, I believe his name is like, what? I don't know, and I forgot. But like, he has that glove thing too. Like I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah. We, he gets like he shows his um abilities as an exorcist even though he was restraining himself not to because of his past um but he ends up like using his abilities and like destroying the monster and then the girl's like it only took one hit and then she's here suffering and then all of her talismans are all gone and she's like how can he do something like this so then like I believe that he's gonna become an exorcist again or, I mean, yeah, that's like pretty no much the name of the anime. Oh, oh yeah, Twin Star Exorcist. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for the review. If you enjoyed, please feel free to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.